Hi, I'm Bill Gazorek, a videographer who just went to the South Pacific Cook Islands in search of beautiful beaches and tropical forests. And I found them. But I found something even more compelling and interesting, and that was the Esther Honey Veterinary Clinic, staffed entirely by volunteers. So right now what we're going to do is not take you back to the beaches, but we're going to take you back to the clinic and hear the story from the words of the volunteers themselves. So just a little history about Esther Honey. Um, we were founded in 1995, um, and before that there were no um, animal services on the island, which means that there were a lot of animals running around. Um, with creating lots of babies. They were wandering the streets and roaming around in packs. Um, this would create a nuisance to traffic. They would also be fighting over food, so they could be quite aggressive. Um, also, like spread of disease. Um, there was nothing here to help a dog when it was in trouble. So if you had a family pet, um, then there was nothing here to help them. And then that goes the same with cats as well, or any other animals, cows, um, pigs, goats, there wasn't really anything here. So after 16 years, the conditions have improved a lot. Um, the population of dogs has come down, and we're at roughly around just over 2,000 dogs on the island, of which uh, more than 70% are desexed. Uh, this 70% is the level we are trying to get at to stabilize the population. I came to see if I could give a little bit back to the community. I think a lot of vets are very lucky and have pretty happy little lives. Um, so it's nice to, to make a difference somewhere where they don't have the facilities that we have at home, as well as living on a tropical island for a year or so. Um, I've just come out here to help out with a lot of the animals on the island. Um, I heard that they were quite short on vets. Yeah, since the foundation has been here for the 16 years it's been here, um, there's been a change in the dynamics of people wanting to take care of their animals. People are becoming a lot more loving and a lot more worried when their animals do get sick, so we're seeing a lot more patients come in. Uh, today I've just brought in my uh, mum's dog. Uh, she's a bit sick at the moment. Well, not quite sick. She's quite a healthy dog. But it's just got this uh, little lump on the side of her she's carrying around. Uh, I don't know how long she's had it for, but, uh, you know, uh, I didn't know what to do until, you know, somebody said, hey, there's a, you know, there's a, a clinic. Take her there and they could have a look at it. Uh, I'm a volunteer. I'm, I'm not a vet, so um, I get to be what we call an administrative role, which um, can be anything from getting to... Uh, just help out around the clinic to also um, to also being able to be a surgery assistant. Um, in Rarotonga they get a lot of fish poisoning and um, the fish in the lagoon sort of is a dinoflagellate and that produces a toxin which the larger fish eat and then if the dogs get hold of fish scraps because people have caught the fish and just discarded the brain or the guts and the dog gets into it. If Raina hadn't been brought into us uh, it would have taken somewhere between days and weeks for her to slowly starve to death is the unfortunate truth of it. They can't move and they can't swallow so they can't eat. Uh, some really nice locals, if we weren't here the only thing they could think to do would be to feed it but for weeks on end they would just slowly starve. The island is pretty incredible in a lot of other respects. Um, we have absolutely beautiful flowers, uh, wonderful, the ocean is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's pretty fantastic. We have snorkeling and um, lots of beautiful mountain hikes and opportunities to really get out and enjoy the place. So it's, um, it's been really wonderful getting to do that. Everything that we pay for here comes from donations. Donations to pay for the rent of the facilities, for the car, um, for feeding the animals, for drugs that we can't get by donations. We need money for all of these things. Um, everything here is done by donations. Uh, on top of that, we need volunteers. We really need volunteer vets, um, but any kind of volunteers as 
just people to help out on day-to-day -day routine things. And because we don't have an x-ray machine, we aren't able to, um, to x-ray and figure out where exactly the break is, which means that um, oftentimes we end up having to amputate the leg because that's the uh, most humane way of getting them out of the pain that they're in. It's so nice to feel like you're really making a difference because if we weren't here, they wouldn't have anything. Thank you.